Apple will discontinue the first-generation iPhone X when the second-generation model launches later this year, rather than bump the device down its smartphone lineup for lower than $999, according to KGI Securities analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, who clarified his earlier prediction with a follow-up research note today. Kuo said that Apple keeping the current iPhone X in its smartphone lineup for a reduced price, such as $899, would likely cannibalize sales of the mid-range 6.1-inch iPhone with Face ID and a LCD display that he expects to launch in the second half of 2018 for between $650 and $750 in the United States. An excerpt from KUO's research note obtained by Macrumas on Monday, iPhone X would hurt product brand value lineup of 2H18 new models if it continues to sell at a lower price after 2H18 new models launch, lowering iPhone XS price after the 2H18 new models launch would be a negative to product brand value given 3D sensing and OLED display are features of the new high price model. Additionally, to sell iPhone X at a lower price may have a negative impact on shipments of the new 6.1 LCD iPhone into H18. Thus, we estimate iPhone X will reach end-of-life EOL around the middle of 2018, if accurate. Apple's smartphone lineup later in 2018 would consist of the second-generation 5.8-inch iPhone X, which will likely remain $999, a larger 6.5-inch version dubbed iPhone X Plus, and the mid-ranged 6.1-inch iPhone. Below that would likely be iPhone 8, iPhone 7, and iPhone Shea models. Here's how Apple's new iPhone lineup could look. iPhone Shea, $349, iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, $449 and $569, iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus, $549 and $669, 6.1-inch iPhone with Face ID, $649 a $749, 5.8-inch second-generation iPhone 10, $999, 6.5-inch second-generation iPhone 10 plus $1,099